Hello everybody, this is Bracket. We're back here in Banished in our good comfy little town of Old Maple that's slowly dying out, although we are uh, getting on top of the tool situation that we had last episode, so that is great. I mean, it's not perfect, but um, actually we did just run out of materials here, and it's climbing back up, so as I say that, anyways, let's get this event log back up. There we go. Tools is low. Yeah, yeah, It's going to spam my chat all the time. Just tools are low, tools are low. Listen, game, I don't care. I don't, well, I, actually, I really do care, but I don't care about you messaging me all the time. It will not, it will not change the way I play this game. Uh, <laughs> that being said, let's carry on to actually playing this game. We're going to start building a well here. Uh, this, it doesn't really look like, oh, well, yeah, it has started slowly. That looks like where a whole lot of our stone went. Although, wait, is that stone? No, that's iron. St we have plenty of stone and a good amount of logs left, so I'm not too concerned about tools. I mean, we'll get right now. There's no, there's no stock here at the moment, but that's fine. There will be stock soon. I'm confident in that. Uh, but for now, what we want to be doing is. God knows. Oh yeah, I, I completely forgot that I started to- Ooh, look at that. We got someone killed by a rock. That's fabulous. I'm joking, obviously. That's not fabulous at all. What I'm gonna do at the moment, since it's early winter, I'm gonna drop two farmers, cha exchange them for builders at the moment. That way we'll get some more people to build whatever we're building. I honestly have no idea what we're building right now. Are these rocks always here? These big ass rocks? Get these rocks out of here. Come on. Collect stone. Oh, there's actually quite a lot around here, whatever. <laughs> Guess we'll be getting some extra stone through the winter, which is fine. Stone is always helpful. Look at that, we've got exactly 100 adults in our town, which is actually pretty fabulous. Uh, let's check our, let's check some graphs. Graphs are fun. There's a like uh, there's a population and stuff. That's I'm pretty sure that's when we accepted our the nomads. You would think it is. I think so. I, I have no idea to be honest. Um, let's show the time range. Okay, not no, not one year. Let's make it. We've oh yeah, wow, it's already 18 years. Uh, let's put it 25. Yeah, you can see. That's definitely when we accepted the nomads around like year. That's 18, that was like year maybe 17, 16. So yeah, that, that seems about right. I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, 10 years. Okay, sweet, let's actually do something productive here. Uh, there's quite a lot of people that are cold, Qu quite a lot of houses that are cold, and that's uh, caused by firewood, lack of firewood. I mean, we have these two woodcutters you would think would be enough. Let's up this fuel limit, we might as well. We don't want that holding us back. Let's up that to a thousand. Not that we're ever going to reach a thousand, but it would be nice if we could. <laughs> Three firewood. Wow. Did it just get cloudy or something? It felt like it just got darker. It's too bad you can't like sort of zoom in so you sort of like get like a first person view on the streets. That would be kind of cool. Whatever. It doesn't matter too much. It's a city building game anyways. It wouldn't really be something that you would got that you would have to have <sighs> trading post with 500 500 dollars worth of 500 currency 500 value 500 gold is what we'll call it worth of goodies worth of iron in there uh, so that's going to be nice we have a, a pretty much empty stockpile another close to empty stockpile where's our stockpiles anyway is that just like the is that just going to show how much, how much what a loss? Probably does. Okay, it's early spring. I want to get these. Uh, okay, let's drop. Let's drop and get our farmers back. Okay, drop the builders, get our farmers back before I forget. Um, though I was, I was honestly kind of head is hesitating on actually doing the whole, drop dropping the farmers and getting the builders back because. Um, I thought I thought it wasn't gonna work out, and I thought I was just gonna completely forget something. Uh, luckily, that did not happen. Uh, it would be nice to get to get some 
wood collected. I'm gonna do that. Actually, I'm gonna get some wood collected. Okay, it's an auto save. Thank you very much. I'm gonna. Ooh, look at that! Another person crushed by a rock. Fabulous. Um, I'm joking, of course. That's not fabulous. We're down to 99 adults. I need these children to become to become adults and these students as well. Uh, what I was gonna do is get order some people to. We got plenty of iron. We should be worrying about wood and tools, not iron. 25 iron. That's that's more than enough for now. Um, although we could just drop a couple stone cutters and miners if, in case crap hits the fan too much. Uh, yeah, we might do that. Uh, but but not yet, not yet, not yet, not yet. We still got this under control. I'm gonna harvest some of these trees just at the edge. I know this might be intervening on the foresters. Oh, actually, it's not. Look at that. It's just not. I was cutting down these ones out here. Uh, so. Nah, a little bit, whatever. Doesn't matter. They'll get replanted soon anyways. Looks like our well has been built up nicely. We like that. And what I was going to do is start building some more houses. So, uh, no, not that. <laughs> it, it looked like a house, so I was going to so I was gonna click on it. Uh, so here we go. We have four and another four. We're gonna fit in two houses here. That's no problem. I was gonna put a road in between, but that wouldn't have, that would not make any sense because it's a road right here. So we'll just keep it as it is. We'll put two houses there. What I will probably do though is I'll put a house here, like so, and put a road in between the two over there. Uh, I started pointing at my monitor. <sighs> Hattie, the laborer, has died of old age. Just a laborer, eh? Nothing, nothing special. Just a laborer. Laborer. Okay, let's let's build some more houses here. What what looks nice? Uh, let's get let's get one of these, and let's get one of these. Two more houses, ready for action. Nomads have arrived. How much nomads? If it's over, um, I mean I'm likely gonna decline this. Nomads, twelve nomads deny. I'm sorry. Um, I'm not gonna deal with twelve nomads at the moment. Which ones are the nomads? I'm guessing it would be these ones. Uh, yeah, it's probably these ones. Yeah, uh, I kind of want to see which where they. I kind of want to see where they actually go. They just like walk off into the distance. Let's see. <laughs> look, look at this like conga line. It's just a train of nomads just walking off. They're gonna cross some mount no nope. okay they're gonna walk around the mountains okay let's stop following these guys anyways let's get back to what we were doing what we were doing is starting to build these houses those will get built I should assign some builders to do that let's drop one of each stone cutter and miner for now just so we have some laborers laborer <laughs> it's a fun word to say just so we have some laborers to do some uh, to do some replacement work for us. Why is all this iron just sitting out here in front of the mine? It's quite odd. Anyways, um, I kind of want to start expanding this town. And uh, when I do expand, it's definitely going to be expanding this way. Uh, at least for now, because that's what's in the vicinity of the market. Um, residential will be expanding this way, unless we need uh, farms and such, we'll, which I will likely expand in this direction. And I might even get another market set up over here soon. Um, or maybe over here. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll see. We will see. Look at all these people just being students and laborers and students all of a sudden. We, all, we have 16 students. Oh, there we go. Fisherman's gone. I was going to say we have 100 adults again, but just as that happened, someone decided to uh, become... Okay, what I want to know is it's 34 degrees outside, and these guys are cold? Are you freaking kidding me? Is it because they're old? <laughs> Is it because they're old? Do old people feel naturally colder? These are all old people. We need new houses so people can make babies crap. That's why we're not getting any population boost. Is because we stop building houses, people are getting older. We need young people to reproduce. We got to get. We got to get these houses built pronto. I just realized. If people are too old to make more babies. Then I guess all ta our town will just die out without anybody actually being able to make children. So I just realized a potential flaw in our plan that hopefully is not something that will happen soon. If it does happen, I will be very disappointed.
because that will that means this will let this series will likely be over. Uh, but alas, we're still going. Okay, there's an auto save that just completely jerked my computer for a second. Um, let's start building. Start building a stone road around here. Just wrap it all together. And to do that, I will get uh, if I can if I can find this damn stone road tool. I, I can never remember where the roads are. There they are. Okay. Uh, let's get a stone road around like so. Too wide, of course, because this is the rich area. It's where people it's where people like to live when they're rich. <laughs> Oh my god, how much is this? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, we'll be able to fit two more houses in over here as well. And I know this is using a lot of stone, uh, but it's aesthetics, right? I mean, you gotta, you gotta use some stone at this stage in the game. It's just how it works. Besides, it uses less fire, uses less firewood, so that's nice. These guys are still cool, oh, but then again, it's, all, it's early autumn anyways, and our weather temperature is not very good. Uh, how are we doing on food, actually? If I go on uh, production food, uh, we got a heavy def. Well, not heavy, but we got yeah. Food is low. We might be we might be starting another famine soon. We might, we're gonna have to get more farms set up. And I'm thinking over here, out of the market circle. Well, should I put them in the market? Where's my market? There it is. I'm thinking of down here. So since it's winter, we're gonna do that. Uh, we're gonna get some farm set up. Uh, wait, what? Did we have a merchant at the trading post that just like gave up and left? Because if we did, I didn't even notice. Crap. I think we might have. If you guys have been yelling at your screens trying to tell me there's a merchant around, I'm I'm, I'm very sorry. <laughs> I completely missed that. Okay. Anyways, let's get a farm set up here. Let's get some food production, another crop field. Uh, where was the... Uh, nope, not that. This is here, so the edge is like right over there, okay. That's fine. I just want to get like maximum production and stuff. Let's make a... Let's make a 10 by 14 here. Uh, that would be nice. Uh, and let's, uh, nope, uh, oh, I'm trying to get the perfect, another 10 by 14, good, whew, okay, this is going to be cabbages, and this is going to be corn, and we're going to get some dirt roads around here, not going to waste our stone roads at the moment, we're going to get dirt roads going, we need more farmers. 25 of 31. You know what that means? More of these guys to be dropped. Because we're going to up this to... Oh my god, we need to drop quite a bit of these guys, actually. Wow. Okay. Uh, we're, did we just lose a bunch of people? Like, when did we... Yeah, I guess we did lose a couple people. Look, we, we're down to 97. I guess it's from the cold winters. Maybe. Potentially. God knows. Anyways, let's get a dirt road around this farm. Wow, people are dropping like flies. It's not exactly not exactly pleasant or helpful for that matter. Uh, in fact, it's quite hurtful to, to the community because it's going to decrease our happiness level. And until we build a graveyard uh, to counter that effect, um, that's going to be there. So, hopefully... Uh, you know, we only need two people are wor working at each of these locations. That's why I had so much. Wow. Okay. Uh, let's put one more... <laughs> Miner at the back. There we go. So we're going to have two more fairly large farms out here. And that is going to, of course, help with our food production because it's the winter... And we have like 900 food, and that is not good at all. That is not, not good. I, c I can feel the famine rolling in. Uh, tunnel? Is this like... Ah. Requires a lot of stone, though. Holy crap. <laughs> uh, we got a bunch more laborers, though, just now, which is nice. 
uh, due to some sort of graduation from school, I guess. So good job, everybody. Welcome to the adulthood. Welcome to the labor forces. We're going to make you work your asses off. It's going to be great. What's this? Blacksmith. Oh, wait. I, I know what it is. I was just wondering uh, how their inventory was doing. Not very good at all. I wish they could just stockpile like 50 iron and 50 logs in there all at once, and everything would be sorted out in a matter of minutes. Unfortunately, that's not how this game works. Uh, okay, I, I, was just making, I was making sure there was nobody at our trading post. Oh my god, people are being crushed by rocks. Is it, oh my god, stop dying. Is it because the slopes are slippery and rocks slide down? You you fall over, lo rocks slide down, lots of crap happens. Is that why? I bet that's why. God damn it. <sighs> okay, these houses have been built. Looks like people moved in and started making babies. Uh, unless these guys are about to reproduce, they might actually be too old already, so this might have been a waste of a house to build. Uh, see, oh, this is this is tough. This is where this game gets tough. See, you want to you, you need you need the food, right? So you want to build more food, but to build more food, but to get more food, you need more workers, but to get more workers, you need more food. So it's kind of like a vicious circle. Sucks you in. Um, so I'm gonna build more houses. A famine happens, so what? A bunch of people die, so what? We can repopulate this village. I'm not, I'm not, I ain't scared. I ain't scared. I'm actually, I'm actually quite nervous, I'm gonna be honest. Um, <laughs> okay. 200 food. That's not looking nice. Uh, let's get maybe this one in here. Two more. Houses to be built. We're gonna need more wood to be collected. So these guys are gonna go out all the way over here and kill some more nature, as I like to say it. Right with that button over there. Look at all these trees and stuff to be harvested. It's gonna be great. People are gonna just kill all sorts of trees. <sighs> How are we doing on time? Okay, we still got like a minute or two. Anyways, let's let's see let's see how we're doing here. Everything everything going okay? Everything is not going okay, and that's why I love this town. Food. Why is our produced food down to 8,000 all of a sudden? We're using 12,000, and we're producing 8,000. How did that go down? I don't understand how it went down. At all. Logic. I seriously do not understand how that went down. Uh... Is it because people are producing less because we don't have, like, any tools? That's probably why, I bet. Uh, man, this is tough. This is tough. Now, what I'm going to build is I'm going to build a bridge so these guys can actually uh, bring their stock over to this storage room, which is empty at the moment. Uh, well, I'm, I'm gonna have to build a bridge here sooner or later, anyway. So we might as well do it down. Do it down. Do it now. Uh, wooden bridge. There we go. This is going to. Wow, we need a lo load of logs. Holy crap, logs for days. That'll eventually get built. It's, I'm not too pressed for it at the moment. Um, so we'll get done eventually. Uh, not a big deal as of yet. These houses just need builders at the moment. All the... Wait, no. They need logs is what they need. This one almost has the amount of logs necessary. And this number is rising again, which is quite a bit of an issue. And it looks like that's been the 20-minute mark right there. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Banished. And I will catch you. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Hold on a second. We got a trader. What you got? Tell me. We're gonna we're gonna trade. We need food. Uh, that's three hundred. <laughs> uh, we can get like three hundred food items for three hundred iron. For one hundred iron, is that worth it at all? Um, I have no idea. Yep, there's people getting hungry. Eh. What if I told you we're gonna get some eggs and a bit of corn? There we go. 
done. Thank you. Thank you. Have a nice day. There's our... Oh, yep. People dying of starvation. That's fabulous. Man, things are going just great in this city. Things are going just great. These guys are hungry, which is honestly not a surprise at all. They're all the way out here in the middle of nowhere with almost no access to the market unless they walk a mile. But people in this la people in this game are lazy as all hell. I mean, if I had to walk that far, if I had to, if I had to walk from here to over there to get to get my daily source of food, um, I would not have a problem with that at all. And in fact, I would be happy that it's so close. Like, the, li the distance I walk to school is, if I had to guess, maybe about 15 times that long. 15 times that distance. 15. Not 50. 15. Don't get me wrong. Uh, p do people move in here? Uh, the, the old generations are moving in. Uh, which is... I guess, um... Okay, we got a bit of a younger generation here, so... Hopefully they'll, they'll make a baby. And... Uh, just grow our population. Uh, stalemate. We are in a stalemate right here. We got tools to deal with, hunger to deal with. And we got... And we got, I mean... Cold? Cold is not too big of an issue. Uh, really, the the biggest problem about people being cold in your town is seeing all these freaking yellow dots all over the place. But, um, anyways, this should have ended a while ago, so that's gonna be it. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Banished, and I will catch you guys next time. Goodbye. <laughs>